What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. Now, I need to address something here right up front because apparently in my last video, some of you thought I was actually just a bit unhinged. I have no idea why you would think that. <laughs> in case you missed the video I put out over the weekend, it was a 100% clickbait and it worked actually. Lots of you guys clicked on it, but I gave you some good tips in there too. So it's not like, like I clickbaited you and left you feeling hungry. I gave you a lot of tips, but at the end I kind of said, hey, I uh, hope you guys are okay with me doing a little clickbait to you, but I think some people missed that. And you actually thought I was mad at Doug and maybe it's because I put this clip in there. You, Doug. But no, I actually think it's hilarious. Uh, and if you haven't seen the story, you'll have to go back and watch it. But I actually get probably at least two or three messages a month in the summer on places like Instagram or Twitter or an email or whatever, where people are literally saying, hey, I came to Disney, I stepped on the grass and it's crabgrass. I get those kind of emails all the time and I just think it's hilarious. So please understand, I guess I'm just too good of an actor when it comes to that. I was not upset about Doug's letter at all. Okay, so now that we got that cleared up, I'm actually just making a quick video today, something I kind of discovered. By the way, see those stripes right there? Those stripes, that's St. Augustine grass, by the way. Those stripes are from the Toro Time Cutter. That's the stripes it makes just with the wheels in St. Augustine grass. But referring back again to last week's video, you guys did see I was actually able to get some really, really good stripes from my Toro Super Recycler in the St. Augustine grass. And here's the thing, you guys know St. Augustine is not the most, what's the term, stripeable grass but the fact that I'm able to stripe it with just the Super Recycler and no striping kit is something kind of interesting that I want to show you. The, the challenge you have with that is you have to use the bag, which is not typically something that I do. You guys know for years I've been preaching about mulching, but since having to bag when I let it get overgrown, man, it's, it's taught me a few things about well bagging. So first and foremost, bagging has taught me what a clean cut truly is. I, you know, you have to understand guys, I've probably bagged my clippings less than a hundred times in the, how many years have I owned a house? Since 2002 was I bought my first house. So what is that, like 20 years of home ownership? Yeah, whatever. I, I probably bagged less than a hundred times. I mean, probably bagged less than 25. I don't know. I'm just throwing out stats because that's just what we do. I just have not experienced bagging until now and I like it. I like the cleanliness of the cut. I do. However, there is a downside to bagging and it's what do I do with all of these clippings? These are the ones from last week that I was throwing in the back of my truck. Some of you were asking what I was going to do with them. Well, I was going to take them to the city dump, but things got busy and I wasn't able to go to the dump. So I sacrificed two cans here. The rest of them are, oh, oh, <coughs> oh gosh. The fumes, oh man. My wife is gonna be so angry at me that her beach chair is gonna smell like rotten grass clippings. Look at them up in there, just marinating. Listen y'all, my beach game is strong, okay? But... Yeah, just look at that. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, there's a there's a major downside to uh, bagging your clippings. So I don't know if I'm gonna get on the uh, bag your clippings every time train or not, but I did wanna point something out. When the bag is on, I do believe it helps with the quality of the stripes. Maybe I've been wooed by the bagger clan. Okay, real quick, before I show you how to lay stripes with the Toro Super Recycler here with the bagger on, I'm gonna explain to you how lawn stripes work in the first place. And just realize the stripes that you see in there now, those were actually put in there by a Toro Time Cutter 42 inch zero turn just about two days ago. So the way stripes work is this. The first thing is in order to see stripes, you have to have a light source behind you. And in this case, it's the sun. Lawn stripes in a residential setting are tough because your only light source is typically the sun. So you have to point the stripes properly to make sure that they show. Remember, you will not see stripes as bright as they could be unless the light source is behind you. This is why, by the way, when you go to a baseball game, the stripes look good all over the outfield because there's giant lights all the way around the entire field. And those giant lights are creating a big light source anywhere. So no matter which way they stripe, the stripes always look good. Us, we're limited to where the sun is. So the sun is behind me. The lighter stripes 
ha the lighter stripes are where the lawnmower has pushed the grass blades just slightly on angle away, and the darker stripes are where the lawnmower has come this direction and pushed the grass blade slightly angling this way and all you're seeing is a different reflection of the light source so so with the time cutter that's made because it's a heavy mower and mostly what you're seeing are tire tracks but it's also a mulching as it goes and so as the mulching happens that'll also press the grass blades down a little bit in this case all of the mowers that we use homeowner wise are going to have this little flap right here and that little flap is actually a guard, a safety mechanism, so that I, you know, rocks don't fly from underneath the deck and whack you in the shins. However, that, when it's pushed down, can also bend the grass blades enough that we can see stripes. And I've, what I've noticed is when the bag is on, this entire positioning of the mower is heavier because this is full of grass. So it actually will help this little flap to press down more because there's just more weight in this section when you're mulching all of the weight is up front here and you don't necessarily get the best stripes with a naked mower mulching but when you add that bag kit and you add that little bit of weight in this area here it just helps all of this to seat down better and give you the stripes let me show you Not bad, you can actually still see the time cutter stripes in there a little bit. Now if I would have, this was only cut two days ago, if I would have let this go longer, I'm sure it would look better, but it's fun to do. And uh, just want you guys to see that I actually fully sent it all the way around the side here. This full send lawn care right here, bros. You know what I'm saying. Hey Al, congratulations on getting married, buddy. Oh, awesome, thanks bro. Great girl, known her for a long time. She ain't really much to look at, but man, can she cook. <laughs> 